Welcome into the final round of the Cancer Playbook Open powered by Prodigy. We're here at the Hideaway Disc Golf Ranch right outside the DFW Metroplex. Now I want to say a big thanks to Jim Garrenser of the Eric Organization, the Eric Foundation rather, as well as Nikki Joe and the entire team here at the Hideaway. This experience this weekend has been fantastic. I'm Luke Humphreys along with Tall Paul Omen. How's everyone doing? Man, this is a B tier, but it's got A tier plus vibes all the way. We got 1040 rated players, a 63 person MPO field, and a nasty course where even par is 10 10 plus. Yeah, loving this hideaway course so far. We've got some, uh, some great golfers on the card today. Vinyl Makala, Gavin Rathbun tied at negative seven, Yese Nimanen at negative five. And we got Freddie Mesa coming in at. Negative five as well. That's right. Negative seven, 1060 rated round yesterday. It's pretty windy. We're getting those similar conditions today. Wind in the same direction, which means tailwind Live here on Live on the one. box for the 2024 Cancer Playbook Open presented by Prodigy, the great state of Texas and the Hideaway Disc Golf Course. Would like to present to you the final card right here. Big thanks to Nikki one time. This is the course owner and our gracious host it's been an amazing weekend. Hand, hand for hand. Now teeing off first out of Turku, Finland, Mr. Vino Makala. Yeah, man. Fun to have this dude playing our local course here in DFW. You know, the hideaway is uh, one of two privates in, in the town, and they're so far from each other that they're barely considered the same DFW. And this one right here is special, man. There's a ranch, excuse me, a grill. It is a ranch with cows and whatnot, but there's a fantastic grill where you can get yourself a burger at the turn. Two courses on the property. Good looking shot from Vino. That's where you see, typically, putts being had. They're mostly on the left side of that green. Yeah. I like how he put that out there wide right. You really got to press that right side. If you wanna, you're not get pushed too far back left with that wind. Flipping it to flat does bring in that right side OB. This looks so good. Wow. Gavin showing us the low line. 441 on the dot. Getting all the skip. All right, we had fun with the SA yesterday. Probably a bunch of y'all's first time seeing him yesterday. And here he is again. Fantastic forehand, great backhand. He's going to be a household name. Both fins going high. Yes, say staying up in the tree, but in bounds. Yeah. We'll take two meters relief off that barbed wire. Should be easy part. Gotta press Mr. that right Freddy. side. Meza. Otherwise, you're ended up in the trees on the left. We got Freddie Meza. Mexican born. This man is so smooth. Local favorite. Big time. He had the course record alone until yesterday. Now he shares it with two other people. Both of them on this card. Yeah, yeah, good job. It's a great way to start for him. <clears throat> Just outside the circle. I think Yesse is just trying to play for that shade. Nice little backdoor shot right there. It can get tricky. Those trees are about 40 feet. You hit them, it turns to a bogey quick. Definitely. Good stroke from Freddy early on. Oh my gosh, that was so hard. Confident putt. I like the way he's got his hair up today. I feel like he means business. He's got that samurai hair. Man, I know. The same kind of uh, confidence. Same hard putt, but just a little low from him. Yeah. Easy birdie there from Gavin Rathbun. Breaking the tie. Taking the solo lead. It's going to be a fun battle. We got a lot of two stroke swing holes today. Tons. It's going to come down to that back nine, but you're going to have to get there first. 
You got to go through hole two to do it. Par four, 634. You're going to want to stay on this path if you want any chance of having an angle into the green. Putting it low on the ground and letting it skip and slide on this hard pan works really well on this hole, Paul. Yeah, at 634, you don't need a whole lot of distance up the, the tee either. No. You know, I think it's less than 300 really just to be accurately on that path. Gavin, our new solo leader. Looks like he's just got a putter in his hand. An envy. A little bit straight. That's a nice kick. Lovely. Freddy, going to the mid. Quick player, too. Yeah, his pace of play is fantastic. He stayed, steps up there and pulls the trigger. Both those guys' disc flipped up a little more than they wanted them to. See if Vino can make the adjustment. Oh, yeah. So I mean, by two feet, too. You know, he gets into that tree at all, cuts his angle off, no backhand available. Looks like he's very throwing that frisbee, too. Whoa. This is an aggressive play here from Yese. He's saying, screw the landing zone. It's over by the basket for the next hole. <clears throat> I think he's got a little shot around there. A little forehand skip shot. I like this. Freddie Ooh. a little out of position. Off the tee and taking it up high. Look at that. Getting himself a long bid. Edge of circle two. You can see that wind. It's out today. It was 15 sustained with gusts over 20. Gavin yeah, liking the looks of Freddie's shot. That one definitely flattened out, though. Didn't lift and kind of ride back yeah looks like he's in a tricky spot it's windy above those trees they just can't feel it fine i'm going stand still i love the way he sets his body up feels like it's sideways but it allows him to open up and throw very accurately and consistently plays the skip well yes they go on high forehand into this green I've never seen anybody play the hole like this before. Oh. Terrible spot. Dece decent pitch out. It looked good. Still got Honestly, little... just to get himself to there. Yeah, a little meat on the bone. This Texas rough is next level. Just getting to your disc sometimes is an issue. Freddy oh. Mesa. Gosh. That's edge of circle two right there. Ooh, the catch. Corner pocket, baby. Man, his outfit with his look and the way that he started today, it's pretty fear fearsome. Yeah. He's got some confidence running through his veins. KSA looking to back it up. I don't know. I think Freddie's going to big putt these guys all day. Started that way. Gusty winds in here in this little green. Oh, man. Back-to-back -back putts. Just a couple inches low. Yeah. Look at the trees now. <sighs> Crazy. <clears throat> Freddie got to putt in what looked like pretty calm conditions. These guys now dealing with some gusty ones. Good flat release from Yese. His putts look great all week. Yep. I like his commitment. Yeah. Same from Gavin. Unfortunate bogey after that birdie on one. Yeah, it may have just been a bad wind read on that second shot. Definitely. Gets Let him to swirling. Yeah, it does. Drop down in that Don't nasty stuff that. and not be able to get up and down. So little swing at the top there as we head into hole four par three we talked about it yesterday it's only 324 but it definitely plays more than that yeah low ceiling 
probably clubbing up. Definitely. Most guys can get there with the mid, but probably clubbing up to the, the slow fairway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mean stroke from Freddie, right up the gut. Putting the pressure on these guys. Yeah. We have three weights high for the lead right now. It's seven under. What you don't see is the chase card, Nicholas Antela, trying to catch these boys. Is this the exact same shot he threw yesterday? That was gorgeous. He wasn't on our card yesterday. But I saw that shot yesterday. That's an F3 from him. Sweet little die. And this is the other side. I don't love this play, but if he's confident hitting the gap with it, I love it for him. I got to think he's going for that low line on the left under that branch. It's kind of framed up nicely. Just missed his line a bit. This one Gavin's heading towards with his backhand. Oh, made it above the branch. Nasty little kick, though. He's headed to scramble zone again. No, he's lining up a grenade. This is the best thing he's got. A Trulsvik Firebird grenade. Oh. He's got an open look. Got himself a putt. Hmm. <clears throat> Low ceiling. This is a fast green, too. He just left himself a 20-footer. No. Stop. Is he going to do this all day? Over and over and over again. Vino's parked. He knows if he doesn't hit it, he's losing a stroke and the lead. Freddy, big putt after a big putt. Freddie is not waiting for anybody here. Gav looked like a an abbreviated extension there. Didn't really follow through like I liked the Gav putt to see. Um, like I like to see out of the Gav putt. The words were right. <laughs> Combination not. Nice little tap in from ESA. Gav doing the same thing. Unfortunately, a bogey for him. That's a two-stroke swing right there with Freddy. I want to get behind Vino. here at the hideaway. Man. That's a big hole right there on hole four. Swings being made, and this little green on hole five, it's kind of set up for the same thing. It's a skip shot around the corner, but players, it's its really hard to get all the way to the green. You're left with a 28-footer that can turn into a 28-footer that can turn into a 28-footer. <laughs> you guys get it. Yep, you got to have some strategy here. Looking nice. It's around that back tree. Oh. There's a couple ways to get over there. That was the squeaky way. And it leaves them outside the circle. But another chance to bang a putt on these guys. Fino going A2. And this is tight. There's a way to do it that way too. Are you kidding me? Oh. Unnecessary roll, but... I love that soft touch, finding that inside line. We don't know where that went. That could be like 20 feet. Oh, man. The ground play out here in Texas is wild, man. These little hills right here provide tons of different reactions from the disc. Gavin going long, just a little fast on the disc. I love seeing the stable approach disc, putter kind of shot. Yes, they wants no part of this green. I think that's a smart move. Don't blame him. Gav, he's an aggressive player. Oh, are you serious? Just needed a bit of motion to the left. Is he going to do it again? Good reaction off of that basket. That could have ended anywhere. Love the confident stroke, though. He's not afraid of the little distance between him and the basket. And this is what I thought. Vino nearly parked, now left with a straddle jumper up the hill. And for the third time in 
in five holes is one inch low. Yeah, that has got to be frustrating. And pretty good hearts about it. He's smiling. He knows he's throwing good putts. You know, that's what that's what that tells me. He's not super upset with his stroke trying to find it out there on the course. No, not at all. He knows that if he keeps throwing them, they're going to drop. Still that's what I thought too. I agree. Hole six, one of our favorites. We've talked about it. Shooting out of the woods into the open. A little OB around this green. Kind of tightens your shot up as yeah. you're approaching it. Yeah, the approach is... There's a couple different angles you can take. You can throw one forehand out over the OB and chop one over that tree with a big hyzer. It's nice and windy today, though. The one to miss. Freddy gets kicked into a terrible place. That was about to be so far out the gap. Fino just dropping down to an M2. He's been throwing this disc fantastic all event. Buttery smooth. Proto M2, he knows all he needs to do is get out those woods. Birdie is all but guaranteed. Yesa, if you've got his forehand, you should definitely throw a forehand on this one. <laughs> oh, I like a lower forehand, though. Indeed. Did he just Biting. get all the way out, though? Gave himself an open look, it looks like. Not sure what kind of a run-up he's looking at, but... This is a comet from Gavin. He's got that open bag this year. He's really enjoyed going with the comets and the halo bosses and a, and a random assortment of discs. He said he found an overstable run of those comets and he's been loving it. Freddy needs to miss this tree. Just keeps lifting on him in that headwind. And that's a hedge tree right there. They have the stiffest branches. <laughs> that thing grabs discs most likely be a par from him that was early from Yese. yeah not testing that ob on the left side gotta put it out over that yeah this plays the opposite way of hole one so we're dealing with the headwind here just didn't want to flip it over and risk going ob i guess if you've got it this is a great play spike heiser that ground play. Wow, Vino going OGH1, and that just did not get left at all. That's smackdown. I said it was all but a birdie when he landed there. Yeah. Like it was a gimme or something. This guy's still got work to do. Gab's not much further in front of him. He's just going putter. I like this straight at it approach. Beautiful shot. Course maintenance says he flicks one up there. Nicely done. Freddie, it'll be a par for him. That's a cool little spinner right Good there, man. Long look. Lots of spin generated there without even jumping. You can tell that the wind is out. It's Texas. There's no leaves on the trees, so you can't really tell. But uh just check Freddie's hair. Or Vinos, he's got that yeah. Uncle Laser look going. He's got the lettuce flowing. <laughs> nice bird from Gavin. Own oh, bird. He had a little bit better of an angle than Vino. Vino almost forced to go over that tree. He could have taken a forehand out. But uh, I liked Gavin's approach, just straight at it, drive through that wind. Yeah, it gets him back to even par where he started the day. Yeah, that nice birdie on one followed up with a couple bogeys. So yeah, hopefully that birdie there settles him down, gets him going. Short par four, hole seven here. It's only 446. It's a total placement shot off the tee. Looking to land right about here. And it's a horseshoe too. You don't see many people park it. You see a lot of nice putts on this hole for birdie. And the OB long does come into play. If you get a little hot on that approach. Yeah, it's, there's not too specific of a landing zone here. You just don't want to punch too long or skip into the right here too early. It's easy to go long. Yeah. Just like that. 
I mean, you feel like you babied it, but you're throwing a fairway driver. You've got to get that thing turning right. I'm within 180. You can't go 200 feet straight. The second you do that, you're out of it. That's exactly where you want to be. A great place, yeah. Probably a 230, 240 foot shot. Still going to have to work a disc into the green. It's not just a wide open hallway there. No, I don't know if anybody's ever had an easy birdie on this hole. You've got to throw two little scrambly shots. Kind of funky ground play there. Yeah, that I was know. his Chipotle disc, too. <laughs> Usually getting that nice skip. Perfect. That's the spot. Best forehand on the card shows us the best forehand off the tee. Yes, a primo placement. Catching some early wood on his way. Yeah, he's not really done with the hole either. He's going to have to scramble again from there. Final going back to that distortion right there. Just picked it up and chucked it again. Yeah, Chipotle, Chipotle. Tap in burrito. <laughs> oh. Catch is late, but I think that's inside the circle still for Freddie. Yeah, great shape. Just needed to move a little quicker. Oh, yeah. Settle. Sit. Whoa. Hot Water. bounce. It's two feet from out of bounds right there. Wow. <laughs> Okay, so I spoke wrong. Gav just had a jump putt. Thought he was still working. No. I know now. Looks like he's outside Freddy. No. Tried to make a little bit of an adjustment. And dude, and honestly, that could have slid out of bounds if it wasn't for that tree. Oh, no. Freddy, a chance to take the solo lead there. He knows. Neither of them, Bertie. That was big. Look like both of them are going to birdie. Tensions are high, huh? Yeah, they had a chance to push a stroke away from Gavin. Try and keep Nicholas on the chase card out of arm's reach, but didn't really do it. Keeping this thing pretty locked in. This is anybody's game, man. Comes the essay with the lone birdie, too. Right, headed into hole eight, another short par four. This one just as tricky. The line you're flying down with the drone is the gap to hit. It's kind of a late flipping backhand. Forehand can work, it's not as pure. You're left with another scrambly upshot. Absolutely, it's another one of those ones you, you just hit most of the line and then hope you're not too obstructed. Dude, I stand up on that. Oh, my goodness. Getting all the distance. I love watching it. I could watch it all day. I'm going to see the backhand now from Gavin. Looks like it's just that comet. Oh, my goodness. Oh, it just starts to flatten out there. He's making the right move, too. Yeah, that's crazy. He's still got a lot of distance on that. I mean, dead center fairway, too. You can't complain. Ooh, getting greasy past that first one. He got some pretty good distance, but, dude, there's like 10 trees right there. That's that kick you don't want. It's called jail. This is the roller play right here from Vino. Maybe looking for an eagle. I love it. Dude, are you find your way. Oh, my goodness. You know... Rollers, I think more than any other throw, I want to see finished the most. Absolutely. Just like, let that thing go. Where was that headed? There's Please. sticks. Sticks hanging off of these trees, and there's sticks on the ground. So you're just bringing that element into play. Okay, okay. Totally. I love it, though. It's aggressive. I want to see it. You know? That's what the people want. Kev, heavy no. on the hyzer right there. You can see uh, the nice wide open lane, too. Yep. That should be a little bread and butter approach there. 
This one low from Vino. Gets that nice Texas ground play, though. The Chipotle skip. Yeah. I feel like that bush behind the basket comes up quick, so I like that ground play from Vino. Awkward little angle. No problem, though, for Yese. All right, let's see if Gav can make up for that loose up shot. Looked like he wanted to give it a high bid and keep it close. Are you serious? That was real time. He threw his mini down and made the putt. <laughs> that is Freddie Mays a pace play. Oh, Vino. You've been playing a lot with that that rim, that front rim. I'd like to see it a couple inches higher. There we go. Making light work of that sharp, short par four there. Yeah, man. Two nines on the card and two sevens. It's Freddie Meza and Vino Makala kind of headed into the lead here. This is a fun hole right here, man. <laughs> fun we, for some. We took that green and we made it a lot smaller, as you can see. Put it right at circle's edge. And then that front OB is nothing to trifle with. At 231, I wanted to test players, and it's not the distance that's tricky here. A little bit of a headwind today little as well. Bit. Yeah, it was just flowing. <laughs> yes, eh? Going with a, a base grip, stable putter. That's the play I wanted to see from people. Soft bid. I like that. It was. It was. This is the exact opposite angle. Pretty much the same shot there, but with the backhand perfectly done. I feel like that backhand hyzer definitely has some more room to work to swing it out there, too. Vino going with that A2 again that he loves so much. Perfect shot. Just a little wide from Gavin. Yes, it holds Whoa. on. Man. Wow. On the line. Tricky putt here. Takes his meter in. Puts a good bid on it, stays in bounds at least, but doesn't get the birdie there. Nice putt from Yese. The right to left headwind putt to the raised basket. It's one of the trickier putts in disc golf, and he does that perfectly. Yeah, your work isn't done, even if you make the island here. Fino, stop messing with the rim, dude. That one's at head height. See? can't put it up too high man that is just that's a malfunction of the basket in my opinion that's heartbreaking that putt should have stayed i was actually sitting on the screen watching in person when that happened and just before him nicholas Antela threw a very similar putt dead center spit back mm. from, from a very similar spot it was eerily similar I hate to see it it didn't compute in freddie's mind there he was walking away like what happened there Hole nine, one of the trickier holes on this course, OB the entire way down that tee shot. So players needing to thread that hallway successfully to leave themselves a short up shot again, something around 225 feet. But this one, probably the least pure gaps for that up shot. Oh my God. You really got to scramble. I don't even think you want to get cute on this tee shot. You just want to just hit this line and whatever it ends up, awesome. I like what Yese is doing here. He's playing a slower disc, just minimizing the crazy kick. Yeah. I know some locals, some members here at the hideaway who are just praying that trees go down in this fairway. <laughs> right I know wants that one gone. That was the right direction for a kick, you know. It's in a terrible spot, don't get me wrong, but it's not out of bounds. Right. Yeah, he's not going to be too stoked about that lie. Ready, Mesa. Get left. Again and again. Oh, wow. Fighting through everything. Are you kidding me? The best tee shot I've ever seen. I think I'm, I've got to back that up. That's the best tee shot I've seen. Only been here a week. He didn't hit quite it. a few tee shots. <laughs> 
That was incredible, man. Oh, look at this. That's actually the fairway. What? He landed in a great spot. <laughs> He's laughing it off. He's in disbelief. And we got Vino going forehand putter roller. Wow. Well, successfully. Look at that. What? That was incredible. Well, wait, that got even further than I yeah. thought. He was in Narnia over there. Yes, say going for a major flex line right there. Doesn't work out. Now he's got this little hyzer forehand. That one too. Not getting a full flight. That'll be a bogey unless he can do something special. And this is Gavin's drive, just dead center. No. Oh no. no. Oh wow, whoa. Do you see that? He got all the way up to circle's edge with that one. Oh goodness, yeah, he knows. He got that opportunity off the off the tee and Freddy. No. Oh, come on. Okay. That's no problem for Freddy. But for the best tee shot on the hole ever. Ever. To our knowledge, you gotta be closer than that. It's uncharted territory, you know, he didn't know what to do. After that forehand roller, Vino just a little chip flick, saving the par. Crazy spot to save it from. That'll be a bogey for Yesay if he can drop that. Not a good time to take a bogey. Destiny, Gavin's girlfriend, looking on. Oh. Just looking to gain some ground. Yep. Can't gain ground on Freddy, though. Putt's looking great today. Dude, it really is. Vino picked up the stroke on Freddy last hole. Freddy gets it back this hole. We just got an old-fashioned battle going on right here. Headed into the back nine where anything can happen. Three strokes. Man, that's just one hole out here at the hideaway. Checking in with these guys. Front nine scores. Both Freddy and Vino bogey free on that front nine, man. For a windy day at the hideaway, that is great golf. It's a great start for Freddy, too. Yes, say the only blemish right there on hole nine. It's not the worst hole to bogey, though. If you've oh, you got a bogey one, pick that one. Absolutely. You're not losing as much to the field. Gavin Rathbone just looking to get things started right now. This would be a, a huge win for him. He's also trying to get into Waco, actually. He's on the, the wait list as we speak, but this event is a qualifier for Waco. That would get him in and Freddie in, actually. So these guys playing for more than just this championship here. As we look at that full leaderboard right there of killers, man. For a B tier, this place is stacked. Oh, yeah. We got a bunch of golf to go, so definitely come check us out for that back nine. Been a pleasure being with you guys here on GK Pro for Mr. Tall Paul Omen. I'm Luke Humphreys. We'll see you then.